What's up, Ultra Universe? I am your host, Ultra Human 1973 here, and today, guys, we got some more Pokemon Y Wonderlock. Uh, we did a lot of stuff last episode. We took on Valerie, I think. Yeah, Gym Leader Valerie, and we also went through and got rid of the Team Flare guys that were in the Pokemon Factory. So in this episode, we're going to continue on to the next little area. Do you want to route uh, 15 Brunway? And then we're gonna, I guess, go to the next city, maybe? I don't know. Okay, no items. Oh, there's one. A net ball. Okay. Who do we have in front? I believe it's Amphro. Yep, Amphros. Alright. I want to test out Mega Ampharos. I know I've tested him out during the grinding montage last episode, but I do want to test him out against trainers. She said something about Pokeballs. I don't know. Chimeco. Alright, let's go ahead and test out Mega Ampharos Fabio. Let's test out Fabio the Ampharos. It's not named Fabio, but I mean, that would be an amazing name for him. That's amazing. Our first Mega of the game is a nice and powerful Dragon Electric type. Not bad. Only <laughs> one shot. Alright. I love Mega Ampharos. I've always wanted to use one, but I never used one. I don't know why I never did. I guess I'm stupid for not using him. Oh, good gracious, you just scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I mean, I knew they were, like, w like I knew there was rangers and stuff in the leaves, but oh my gosh. That scared the crap out of me. Because I was, like, running toward the water, and then boom. Ooh, you're pretty high-leveled, my friend. Will Power Gym kill you? Oh, why am I Mega Evolving? I'm so stupid. He has Dragon Claw and stuff. Oh my god. Why am I mega of all oh god? Ooh. Ooh. That's not good. Mm. I don't want to. I don't want to give Mawile that. I don't want to give her any more levels. She's already level 47. About to be level 48. But I mean, if he's using Dragon Claw, that can't really touch me. And then I can just Ice Fang. Goodbye, Gabite. Alright, Ranger Keith. Oh god. <laughs> I don't know why I keep getting scared. I, it's not it's like I just don't like <laughs> Oh my gosh. A quagsire. I can't touch you. I, I have nothing to touch you. Plus you have like mud bomb and stuff, so I'm gonna go out to I guess we can go out to Beautifly. Get that nice and powerful Giga Drain. And whatever you hit me with, I can always get HP back from Giga Drain. Oh, oh, that's not good. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh, that's not good. I get my wild saves today. <sighs> Fire Fang. It's 
So oh my god, stop, please just stop it. Please stop. Oh my god. This is so annoying. Come on, Mario. Yes. Oh wow, something I can't even use. <sighs> Alright. Let's go heal. Okay, I'm not gonna get scared the next time. Okay, I'm not doing it. Nope, it's not happening again. That's not good. Doesn't mean not being lit wear off once you kill the Pokemon that used it. I think it does. I hope so. Cause my luck is gonna send out. S oh, okay. <laughs> I have two moves that can destroy you. Uh, do I go for Thunderbolt or Power? I'm just gonna go for Power Gem. I think Power Gem will kill it. Now let's use his Amnesia. But then again, I still think it should kill. Oh yeah. A Cedra? What do I use for Cedra? Um... Let's go to you. I mean, we can stay in and kill it, but still, I just wanna switch around and stuff. Even if Mean Look didn't, like, wear off, Ampharos would have bodied his whole team. Alright, I wanna put, uh, Crawdon in front, just to get him some levels we need to put we need to start using him and May because May and him are like la lagging behind on some levels so okay
I open him. Oh fuck. We have we have Crawdon in front. And Crawdon doesn't have any ice type moves. I wanna teach you like Ice Fang. Wait, can you get Ice Fang? I don't know. But I know uh staying in is not gonna be too good. So let me just switch out. Please don't use like poison powder or something. Please don't. Fuck you. Fuck you. Stupid Vileplume. Catch the air release. Really? Another useless item. I guess it's not too useless, we can sell it. Okay, I thought people battle oh no. Oh wait, we can get an encounter. Wait, no we can't. Well dang. That's rock smash. Yeah, we have to get rock smash to get back there. Back there. Ooh. But what? What? Can we like run away, please? Thank you. Full heal. So amazing. Crap. Oh gosh, not this thing. That right there is the most scariest thing ever. The little jingly keys, those little jingly keys are so terrifying. Especially to my dark type. <sighs> Alright. Oh gosh, this is scary too. Look at their eyes, oh my god. Drift Blim and Floet. I got the Drift Blim, but what about the Floet? Oh. It could have a Grash type move and it's not good. Should we surf? No, that hits all three Pokemon. Yeah, it's not surf. Uh, I'm just gonna Night Slash the Drift Blim, and then I'm going to... I guess Rock Tomb the Floet? I don't know. Oh, it's not. Don't do... No, no, no. Okay. Please don't have Aftermath. I don't think... Okay, you don't. Please do not have after do not have aftermath. But it doesn't, so we're good. And what what does this flowette do? Oh god. Oh come on Crawdon. Oh you didn't eat that as well. Okay. It's okay. It it's it's all good. Don't worry. We should kill it. Okay, we're good. All right. Who do we want to switch into? I think Chestnut would be good. Let's just go with Chestnut.
Okay. According to Professor Sycamore's research, Mega Evolution releases all of a Pokemon's hidden energy at once. The Pokemon then exhibits a level of power it could not attain through ordinary evolution. What meaning can we draw from this? Do all people in Pokemon have such potential, or is it hidden within a chosen few? I don't know, why are you talking to me about this? Why are you talking to me about this? Oh god. It's a fairy type person. Dedene? Dedene? Body slam. What do we get rid of for that? Uh, I may regret this later on, but I'm just gonna get rid of rollout. Yeah, let's just get rid of rollout. All right. What, what else you got? You got a. Uh, oh my God! Another one of these things. Kiwis and flail, come on. Oh, fuck you. We need to go heal, bro, because our, our team is looking. Oh, gosh, we're looking so messed up right now. I right, gotta yeah, do that. Uh, hit you with another bone club if it'll hit. Come on. There we go. Goodbye, Romatis. Alright. Who do we want in front? Let's say Crawdon, but he's so low on health. So I'll just leave May in front. Hopefully, I won't regret that decision. Okay. Uh, there's the little entrance right there, but we should be able to get some items over here, right? They have May in front, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ocean. I know you're low on health, but I think you could be. I think I think you're faster, right? You should be faster. I hope so. Okay, please take it out. Thank you. All right, we're good. Cause I don't know what Duosion gets, I think it gets Energy Ball and stuff, so that's really scary. And I believe it gets Thunderbolt and stuff like that too. And Dazzling Gleam, alright, we should be able to get an encounter in there if I'm not mistaken. I don't know what the point of going up here is. But shouldn't this be like a new little area down here? Lost Hotel, yes it is, alright. There's also trainers down here too, but um, I'm not gonna worry about trainers right now. I will during the grinding montage, but not right now. F 
fuck. It's not what I wanted. It's crafty. It's crafty. Alright, let's go. Ooh, 39. These things are... Ooh. Let's go! Thunderbolt. There we go. Get out of here. I jump. Oh, we ate that up. We ate that up. That was a high jump kick, bro, and we ate it up. Get out of here, Scrafty. Sharpedo? No problem. No problem. No problem at all. Ponyard, um, why not? See if I can There we go. First encounter is Oh. Oh, okay. I don't think Thunderbolt will kill you. Oh no. Now we're good. I can't paralyze you though, which is bad. Or put you to sleep. Well, no, I don't have anybody to put you to sleep. And I don't have anybody to paralyze you because I got rid of Stun Spore and Thunder Wave won't hit you. I don't even think I don't think Stun Spore will hit you either. But uh, I'm just gonna go with an Ultra Ball. Maybe we'll catch you. Maybe not. We'll see. Oh god, that's not cool. Don't do that. Well, what does metal sound do? Is that lower my defense? A oh, special defense, okay. Lowers my special defense. Okay, we have a net ball, a timer ball, a master ball, a quick ball, and an ultra ball. Nice. I thought it was going to bust out, but it didn't. Alright, Magneton, not bad. To be honest with you, I would love a Magneton, too. That would be awesome. Or like a Magnezone? That would be amazing. We want to trade you off when we get to the town. Okay. Is there another little area down here? Oh, yes. Yep. Wait. Route 16. Route 15. Route 16. This is another little area. Oh, that we. Oh, wait. That we have strength. Yeah. I was about to say, wait. We have strength. I was about to say, oh, we can't go here, but then I was like, oh, wait. We have streams. Alright. So I guess we can get another little encounter here, too. I see the item over there. I'm thinking I'm not going to battle. I know there's trainers around here, but I don't really want to battle anybody, though, right now. I want to save them for, like, grinding for the gym. So I know we're going to have to do that. My first encounter in Route 16 
is... Oh, okay. I, I guess I could just paralyze you. I really, I really don't want to hit you with anything because I'm afraid I'll kill you, but... We'll go ahead and paralyze you. And then we'll just chunk an Ultra Ball and hope for the best. Well, speaking of Ultra Balls, we need to start buying some more of those because we're running low on Ultra Balls. Alright, that's another encounter. Another one to trade. Let's go ahead and nickname you. Alright, there we go. Let's get this item, too. Ooh, a rare candy. That's not bad. Um, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. I knew, it. I knew we were gonna run into another Pokemon. Can I please not run into a Pokemon? Pumpkaboo. I remember when I first played through X and Y, I always caught, uh, the newer Pokemon, like the 6th gen Pokemon, like all the other Pokemon I would just like leave alone, but like, like if I found like a Clefki or Pumpkaboo, I would just, I would catch it, like all the new Pokemon, I would catch, uh, Dendemil Town. Oh god. Oh. How have you been? How is your journey going? You see, when I was younger, I visited many different regions as well. I met many kinds of Pokemon and noticed how each place has its own distinct flavors. So I really came to enjoy trying new foods as I traveled. Because of my adventures, I am an expert on the cafes all over Kalos. Um, Professor. Come now, Dexio. I'm going somewhere with this. Do you remember the Pokemon Lissandre mentioned in that cafe? Yes. Wonderful, I knew you would. Kalos' legendary Pokemon is called Ilvelta. According to material I found, those who saw it were so overwhelmed by its power. They were only able to say that this Pokemon resembled the, le the lesser Y. Apparently, this Pokemon will absorb energy. Its lifespan is said to be a thousand years. When it reaches the end of its life, it steals all of the spirits around it. Wherever do you think a Pokemon that amazing could be now? When Kalos' legendary Pokemon loses all its vitality, vitality, it goes to sleep in a secret place. I don't know, I don't have a clue where it could be. The writings that mention it are also around a thousand years old, so there aren't much help. It would be absolutely astounding if you found it, Ultra. Maybe I'll look into the legend a little bit. If I find something, I'll let you know. Ah, it would be a thrill if you found it indeed. But your journey is yours, and your Pokemon alone. I want you to enjoy yourself, and do whatever you'd like. Oh, God. <laughs> I was a professor god already. I was hoping to have him have a look at the Pokemon in person, the Pokedex in person. Oh well, I can still get my Pokedex evaluated at the Pokemon Center's PC. Anyway, I'm headed off to go look for the Pokemon in the Frost Cavern and fill up more of my Pokedex. And I, I honestly don't care. 
You know, you would think this would be the, like the last little town because this is like a snowy area. You would think they'd make this like uh, the eighth gym, but no. Let's go ahead and uh, one trade. I believe we have a couple of them. Yeah, we have like two. Fuck. There we go. We have like two under trades, right? Two or three. Mm. And then we'll end off the episode here, because all I really wanted to do in this was get to the next town, which we have accomplished. So. Oh, I'm so tired. Ooh. Oh. Alright, so we have uh, a Jolly uh, Magneton with Spark, Mirror Shot, Metal Sound, and Electro Ball, has Sturdy, and we have a Quiet Fungus Effect Spore, and then it has Fame Tag, Sweet Scent, Giga Drain, and Toxic. Let's go ahead and want to trade these things off. First we'll do the Magneton, since that is the first one I caught. Okay. Any day now. Come on. Oh, we got Melena from uh, B Bavaria, Germany. Or Melina. She says, hey, all right, I'm gonna close my eyes and I'll guess what the Pokemon is. Ready? Go. Close my eyes. That sounds similar. A oh, fu fucking. It's. I know it. It's a Pelipper. Yep. I know the sound. Oh god, I didn't see it. Wait, is it a Pelipper? Is it actually a Pelipper? Is it a? Is it actually a Pelipper? Are you fucking serious? Oh my god. It's a fucking. Oh my. It actually is a Pelipper. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Why? Did I have to get a Pelipper of all Pokemon? I thought I had an. I thought I was done with you once I was done with Alpha Sapphire, but nope. It's timid. And has Payback. It has Payback, Roost, Protect, and Brine, and has Keen Eye. And we don't have a. We do not have a Wingle, sadly. I wish I did, so I could trade this stupid thing off again. But, uh, let's just go ahead and want to trade the Fungus. It's a fucking Pelipper. Oh my god. Why did we have to get a Pelipper? Oh my... I don't even want a Pelipper. I don't even want it. I don't want it. Oh my god. We got Flex from California. Alright, Flex, let's go. I'm gonna close my eyes this time again, too. Because I wanna be surprised. Alright, Flex, give us something good. What, Evie? Oh, so <gasps> Espeon! Oh my gosh! Oh my god, I'm not gonna- I mean, Species Claws would say, like, you know, this isn't dupes, really, because I haven't evolved my Eevee, and plus Eevee can evolve into many different things, but oh my gosh, we have a freaking Espeon! 
Oh my god! That is amazing! Oh! Oh, speaking of uh, Eevee illusions and all that, this Eevee, since it's jolly, it would be between uh, Leafeon and a J uh, not Jolteon, but a Flareon. But the thing is, uh, I think Leafeon would be better for it because uh, Flareon's mostly, uh, I mean, Flareon's physical, but like, so Adamant would be better for Flareon, and Jolly would be better for Leafeon. But I just, I don't know. I honestly do not know. I mean, it just depends on whatever, like, whenever we need it. Like, you know, it just depends. Whenever we need it, that's when we'll, like, evolve it into whatever, you know? But we just got an Espeon. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. And since we haven't really, and since Eevee can evolve into many different things, that's not counted as dupes. If I evolve it into something different, you know? So that's amazing. All right, well we we ended this episode off really good. All right, well if you guys have enjoyed, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.